in some tea for you, Bubba Tea. Would you like some milk with that, Bubba Tea? How's it? Dr. Rudy here again with more timely advice for prudent parents concerning a dangerous condition which can affect children as young as two. Do you like a biscuit with that, Bubba Tea? Imaginary friends. They are the silent partner in a child's life. And if they aren't dealt with at an early age, they can inflict untold damage to that child's future. You see, this can be a very sad genetic blueprint. Basically, Luke here will grow up to be a wano. You see, wanos like Ted here are simply unclean, fetid adults that still have imaginary friends. And unfortunately, in most cases, that friendship has soured. And now all they do is fight. Yeah. And the reason for their falling out is very simple. You see, Ted's imaginary friend has made more from his life. He has a good job and lives in an enviable house. Is married to a beautiful woman and drives a nice car. And obviously, Ted resents this, especially considering it was his imaginary friend who first suggested they go to the pub for a couple of beers. So, how do you protect your child from the influence of their imaginary friend? All you have to do is go out and buy a child size coffin. This one looks about Bobbity's size. So the thing to do in the morning is place the coffin on the floor of your child's bedroom. Then when they wake up, simply break the news that their imaginary friend has died during the night. He died. Your child will be so devastated by this news, they will never want to take the chance and dream up a friend again. So protect your child's future today. Kill off that imaginary friend tonight. Bye now.